Presenting the Moto E3 Power, the latest budget phone from the house of Motorola. So let's check it out. Hey everyone, welcome to GoTech Stuff and today we'll be unboxing the Moto E3 Power. So this is the latest budget phone from the house of Lenovo or Moto, whatever you call it and it's priced at rupees 7999 and it's available exclusively on flipkart so that's the barcode you see of the flipkart warehouse and let me just run through the specs of the phone so we have a 5 inch 720p hd display a quad core processor 16 gb of internal storage 2 gb of ram a massive 3500 mAh battery 4g lte support and voice over lte support so you can use it with your geo sim it's also got an 8 megapixel camera with LED flash at the black, I mean the back, and a 5 megapixel front camera. So that's a quick run through of the specs. Now at the bottom we have the details of the phone such as the importer, manufacturer, etc. Let me just show that to you. As you can see the MRP is 7999 and it's been assembled in China. You can pause the video anytime to check out the details printed on the box as I've focused them pretty well. I think they seem clearly. So without any further ado, let me just open the box and show what's inside. The first thing you see when you open the box is the phone itself. And first impressions, the phone is not looking pretty good. It's just a copy of the Moto G4 design from the back. I've not seen the front yet, let's see how it is. Let me take out the phone. Yeah, the front has the usual design from the Moto E series, uh, front speaker grille, and inside the box we have some other accessories, let me just show them. That's the standard earphones, pretty useless, and we have a charging brick, we also have the USB cable, and we also seem to have many document booklets. So let me just show them to you one by one so you can see what they are. First is a readme manual, next we have a safety manual and finally we have a limited warranty booklet. We also have a massive 3500 mAh removable battery so that's new for Motorola and we also have a screen guard, not the tempered glass one but a normal scratch protection screen guard so that's pretty good. Usually Motorola doesn't provide a removable battery or a screen guard in its high end variants but I think they're copying their competitors and staying in the competition by providing such extra touches to their packaging. So let me just show each thing to you one by one. So first coming to the battery. It's called the GK50 and it houses 3500 mAh of power. So the phone can easily last you one or two days depending on your charging cycle and your usage patterns. Next we have these USB cables and the charging brick. Let me just open the packets of these two and show them to you. So when you open them, that's how they look like. So it is a two pin adapter which you can plug into your wall outlet. And we also have a separate USB cable which is good because you can use the USB cable with your PC or else when you're charging you can connect it to the charging brick. So the wire is out. It is okay based on its length. It's not too long but it's okay. And we have the micro USB connector that side and the normal USB connector on the other side. So that's how it plugs inside the charging brick. And next we have the standard earphones. I don't expect much from Motorola's earphones because the in box provided earphones are pretty useless. They are not too good. So that's how the earphones look like. Uh, we have a Motorola logo on the earphone, each of them. So that's how they look like. And uh, there is the quite uh, familiar 3.5 mm connector. It's slowly disappearing from phones nowadays, but it's good to see it on the Moto E3. And there we have the Motorola logo, and on the other side we have a button to place or end calls and a microphone. And coming to the phone itself, now 
taking all accessories apart let's just go to the phone itself and see how it is so that's how it looks like it has a front speaker grill front camera in the back let me just open the car and show you how it looks from the inside so we have slots for two sim cards and a micro sd card there's no hybrid slot so that's good and we also have space to insert the battery the memory card and the battery let me just remove that temporary screen card and power on the phone we'll get to see the usual motorola boot animation which is really cool if you haven't seen that check it out so it says moto powered by android and now we get to see the animation starting i think so it is starting Moto is now owned by Lenovo, so the logo, and now starts the boot animation. It's looking pretty cool actually. All those circles dancing around, and then it forms the Moto logo. So yeah, the phone has been booted up, and now we just need to configure for the first time. So the default language is of course English India, because I'm residing in India. We just go ahead. And I had to connect my Wi-Fi network, I that, and now it's asking us that uh, Motorola, Motorola can connect to its servers and collect some information. Sometimes that's okay. And now it's asking if I want to copy details from my old device. No, I want to set up as a new device. So let's continue. Next, yeah, it's checking. Now I need to log into my Google account, and that's done. I'm not showing all those things because they can uh, show you my password and stuff. I don't want my password out in the public. So I'm skipping the Wi-Fi and uh, login screens. So now it's just asking for some permissions. I'm giving allow to the ones which I need. And now it's asking me to set up a payment method. I don't need that. So I'll just continue. I'm not going to make any purchases on Google Pay. So just sec. Now it's asking me whether I want to copy details from my old device XT1022. That's the first generation Moto E. I don't want that, so I set up as a new device. And now I set up a pin to protect my phone. So I just keep all those parts. And now it's asking me whether it wants to show all the notifications on the screen. And now we are at Google Now screen. Yes, I want to enable Google Now, and we are almost complete. Yeah. We are finally completed with the wing process, the first setup, and this is how the home screen looks like. And there's Google now, and that's the App Store. So it's running Android 6.0 Marshmallow, I guess. And that was a quick look at the new Moto E 3 Power. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more for a detailed review. It is coming soon and.